Welcome to the 34th episode of Haji Stores. Hey dear friends, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will always be updated every time I put up a new video. Good morning my dear friends, today we are going to secure an RFID for our vehicle so that we can use the expressway going to Manila without contacts through the toll gate. This will lead you to a free contact pass at the gateway of the expressway to avoid the pandemic contamination. And so, by this, we can access easily the gateway to the expressway, the inlex which is about 400 kilometers north of Manila, and the South Luzon Expressway with the same length as the north. So this was required by the government that each vehicle using the NLEX or the expressway must secure an RFID to avoid contacts at the toll gates. So we are going to fall in line in the office of the land transportation so that we may be able to have our car registered as one of the recipients of this RFID sticker. So bear with me. Good morning my dear friends, this is Pablo from the Philippines and today I am going to secure an RFID, the radio frequency identification number which will be stick on to every car so that you can be able to use the expressway. So for the meantime, the RFID was installed and initially conducted in Manila and now they are going back to the provinces so that it can ease out the volume of the vehicles coming to Manila. So at this time, I'm here in Bulacan area, maybe about two hours from Manila, that the LTO is conducting to have the RFID installed. So for the meantime, I'm going to show how it is conducted here. Let's go to the place where the table is being conducted and the processing of papers are being conducted on its owner of the vehicles. So we're going to approach the office of the land transportation here in the Philippines. And this is how it goes in our own provincial road. So we're going to cross the street so we can see the tent that they are having the table and they are inspecting the vehicles one by one before attaching the speaker. And here it goes. This car is on the line to be picked on with the RFID. And this is the table. Yep. Each car needs to park here so that it can be inspected by the officer. And so I'm waiting for my turn. My number is 204. So one by one, they are processing each applicant. And uh, I think the number is about 70. So we need to wait for about more than two hours perhaps. And uh, this is the land transportation office here in this particular part of the Philippines. So this is our turn finally. And uh, after waiting for two hours, we are going to have the sticker of the RFID. So we're now in the traffic. And uh, we're approaching for about uh, 20 meters to the RFID table. And so there's the table. So we're going to process and... 
So we have the papers now and then the sticker came on. And thank you very much for this guy. And uh, thank you very much for the stop and we are done. Thank you sir. Thank you. So we now have the RFID sticker so that we can use the expressway together with this easy trip card. Thank you very much for the stop. So finally we are heading home after about three and a half hours because there are lots of vehicle falling in line. I was thinking I was early that time but uh, 7 o'clock in the morning is not yet enough and there uh, are um, more vehicles ahead of me. That's why we are number 204 but I can feel that the process is uh, just moderate and in moderation and uh, we didn't uh, stay long. And we are also lucky that we are included in the cutoff. Actually, they uh, they have only about 400 stickers, so which means 400 vehicles. And what you can see on those lines is about more than 400, maybe a thousand. So tomorrow again, we are going to get back to the same uh, branch office of the land transportation, and uh, we are going to secure another uh, RFID for our car thank you very much my dear friends for being with me and thank you very much for following subscribing and liking my youtube channel catches tours see you again on my next video thank you